What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. It's your boy, Shay. Oh, shit, okay, you are Coming recording. at you with the new movie review. And uh, <laughs> coming at you with the new movie review. And uh, he's been missing in action, but the guy you know and love, Tony T, there he is. <sighs> Take a bow, Tony T. Ta -da -ta, ta -da -ta. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> okay, uh, ooh, wait, keep doing that. Let me come over there. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, it's, just, it's, it's obviously been a while, man. Uh, I, I miss this. I tell you what, uh, the name of the movie we just saw right now is called It Comes at Night. And I tell you what, nothing came. Uh, I don't know. He, I, I'm hoping he's fooling around with me. But I'm telling you right now, I think I just saw the worst movie of the year. I didn't think any movie could be worse than the movie Arrival. This fucking sucked ass. It didn't suck cock. It sucked ass with shit all over it and and, and, and juices and, 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 and semen. and This movie just sucked. Anybody who sees this movie is going to agree with me. Anybody who sees this movie and agrees with me, please leave it in the comments section. And please tell this guy that he's nuts too because I have the funny feeling. I hope he's fucking with me. But he's telling me that he thought this movie was really good. I don't know what the... I'm going to let him take it from here. I, I, I am not nuts because... Actually, about halfway, about, a, a, like, after the first act settled in, I I was completely with you. I was like, I don't know why I'm here. I don't understand what's going on. I couldn't get behind the characters. And then there's something in the second act when, when the character Will comes into play. And there's this, um, this source of, like, refuge. And this character comes in, and you're suddenly upheld by just these six characters that are on screen together. It's just them the entire time. It's all set in one location, which is why this is sort of a, like, fantastic type of film. You know who else? Uh... This is, this, I, under, I understand where you're coming from. Because there's a ton of people that don't like this movie. And there's a I told you when we left, there's a specific audience for this. You are obviously not the targeted audience. Well. And obviously people, I don't like slow burn movies. But every once in a while I do. Okay, well, I can, I, I, I'd be willing to bet you that this doesn't do very good at the box office. For whatever it, target it, audience it It won't do very well at the box office, which you know is what, sad. You know, when, you know what other movie strictly took place inside of just one house? The movie Oscar with uh, Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, and the house... And the house at, uh, no, but Silent you know House 2. Well, no, I'm talking about the movie Oscar. And that was a great film, Oscar. It was great. This sucked ass. Oh, God. God, boring. Okay, yeah, okay. If we're talking, are, we, are you really talking about this was uh, what, uh, like, uh, what do we call it? Uh, is this like Hitchcock related or this, something? This is a Hitch. This is a Hitchcock paranoia type of film. Okay, well, that's that's exactly I can what tell you they, this. that's exactly <laughs> what they were going for, and they hit it on the head perfectly. I understand where you're coming from. If I remember Hitchcock movies. Uh, I even remember the corny music and everything. But you know what? His stories were a lot more clever than this shit. It took too long to get to anything. It's like... Because uh, because it drags at a snail's pace. That's I, why. Th there's a reason for the slow burn. What is the, what is the reason? I don't... There was a payoff to everything. There was an absolute payoff. What was the payoff? And I can't get into it because we'd have to spoil the whole fucking movie. <laughs> I don't I don't understand why you're laughing. The whole payoff was the end of the movie. That yeah. was the whole payoff. <laughs> Thank God it ended. <laughs> I I just, I just oh, can't right now. God, I can't, this, this, man. Guys, I'll 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 be the first to tell you that Tony T definitely has more knowledge of the cinematic universe than I do. So I already know where he's coming from. He's definitely talking about Hitchcock. I understand what target audience this is coming after. Uh, yeah, I may not definitely be one uh, that advocates that. But, you know what? I do know that those particular type of films could be done better. This was 
I don't know. This this was this could have been done better. Well, obviously it was certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes, so the critics are loving this. Um, the critics the critics are loving it because you know what? It's the exact same type of situation as The Witch, which came out last year. It was almost this is almost a carbon copy of what The Witch is, and I still have not seen The Witch, which I've heard great things about from other YouTubers and movie reviewers and stuff like that, and. It's almost the same type of situation where people are going in expecting like a, like, like almost like a type of Saw movie where it's like nothing but blood and gore and all this other shit. I would have settled settled for the Reans even. And then it's nothing but a slow burn in the 1800s in English film. And I'm just like, that sounds like right up my alley. Okay. And, And then. Then real quickly for our audience here. Why don't you tell them what it means it comes at night? Then? Basically, what this movie is about is it's about this family who um, after a apoc- or after a zombie outbreak happens, they're 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 in their own secluded area and one of another family members breaks in and tries to reason with um, Nick's character tries to reason with him and they end up bonding kind of and then they realize something's gone wrong something's not right with this situation and just shit goes awry I won't say how but I'm going to assume that the kid probably did open up something he wasn't supposed to and that's how he gets sick That's what I'm. that's what it seems like and the, the other person in the, that you found interesting got sick, and it just kind of went from there. <laughs> other than that, I, I, oh god, this is awful. I'm sorry, man. Uh, I, I'm uh, Rotten Tomatoes could love it all at once. I have a funny feeling that this is gonna, not going to last in the do well. The it won't. Office. It won't do well at the box office, which is sad because this is original. Okay, but then why the heck did they even let them make this movie? <laughs> this is. Because oh, who's, the, who's the star? I've seen him before. Joel Edgerton. He's good. He's a good actor. Because, because the reason this was put out in theaters was because it premiered at Sundance, which is why it got a wide release. Another question too: Was that his stepkid in the movie, or what's going on? Because it definitely didn't look like him. No, <laughs> that's not his stepkid. He got actual original talent to do it. No, I mean. In the movie, was that supposed to be a stepkid in the movie? Because no, that was. Sup- I'm guessing that was supposed to be his kid. There's no family resemblance there. <laughs> Don't ask me, man. I'm thinking that he was the stepfather, but but he really loved. You know his stepchild. I mean, they didn't really. They didn't get. I don't know. They can't quote me for that. That's what I mean. There's so you're many, fucking looking way too, too many. You're looking way too fucking far into this, man. Uh. You know what? Uh, I don't think Cause, I want. Because I have a feeling right it, now you're look, you're look, you're trying to find something that you like. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to find something that you that like. Is that a good thing that I'm trying? To I find un- <laughs> Yeah, but you just you said at the beginning of the review uh, this movie sucks so much. Yeah. Oh God, that it sucks. You guys agree with it? Leave it in the comment section, please. Anybody who is a Hitchcock fan or anybody who agrees with this, them, please by all means. You can leave your please leave your comments. This too. movie is an hour and thirty one minutes. If you got comments to, to defend him on this, cool. If you got him for me, cool. Just, uh, what does Raheem think of it? I don't. He hasn't seen the fucking thing yet. I'm interested in what because he has to say. because again he probably loved it because again <laughs> no because again Raheem was like oh I didn't like the Belko experiment oh we love the Belko experiment the Belko experiment was great that went somewhere. This was what awesome. else did what else did he like that, or what else didn't he like that we liked? I don't know. Did he did he like fist fight? I don't think he liked fist fight. Okay, well, no, we okay. hate a fist fight. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, fuck. What um? Is oh, it, speaking it? speaking of which, I'm seeing Captain Underpants tonight. Oh God. Dude, I'm so excited. <laughs> Dude, I heard that was actually really good. Oh yeah. Yeah, I heard it was really good. Oh God. Oh. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna give this movie a a star. Wow, Whoa. you're being generous. 
I don't know. Maybe I should change that. Wow. I'll, I'll say I'll say a star because I didn't have to pay for this movie. <laughs> That's the only reason why it's getting a star. Okay. I'm I'm gonna give this a four out of five. <laughs> <laughs> I I genuinely thought that this had. That you know what I'm waiting for? What? I'm waiting for you to go, Jimmy. I'm just fucking. No, I'm song. not <laughs> fucking with you, man. I wow. really enjoyed this. Oh. And, and I would gladly watch this again if it came on cable. I'm not paying for this again. <laughs> I'm not paying for this again. I'll see it on cable. Shit, uh, or streaming. I don't care. Whichever one comes first. Can I take my rating back? <laughs> God, this sucked. Man, oh, God. It's your fucking rating. Go ahead. It was boring. I mean, I, every time it seemed like... It, I, don't know, I mean, yeah, I know it wasn't supposed to be that type of movie, but it still could have... Gave you a little more, even made you a little more puzzled or something. Okay, okay. You, and, you know, I didn't see no evidence for a zombie apocalypse. I didn't see no zombies or nothing in the movie. Okay, I'll tell, I'll tell the audience what I told him. This movie is almost, like, this movie would be really clever if this was a Resident Evil movie. Because it had the absolute perfect vibe of a Resident Evil movie. Yeah, I, I will give it that, but only... In, not story wise, and not in the essence of. Uh, uh, oh, no. story wise, this is much better than Resident Evil. I'm sorry, I don't. Oh agree my with that. god, I do not agree with that. But as far as the uh, certain settings, walking down the hall, wondering what's behind the door, that was. I'll give it credit. That there's my star. That's the <laughs> only reason why. And I even turned to him. I said, "This has got a Resident Evil Two vibe." When they were walking down the hall, yeah, that was cool. But then it really w didn't go anywhere. <laughs> And I There's know, my star I for know. people walking down the fucking hallway. There's my star. These guys, uh, I, I have a funny feeling more people is going to agree with me on this. <laughs> and and hey, if not, hey, I don't know look, what I'm talking and look, about. And look, the, mo the, the more people that agree with you, good for them. The people that agree with me, good for them. I'm not fucking, I'm not taunting anybody that agrees with you. And I'm not taunting anybody that, ag that agree with me. After watching this movie, I literally feel sick to my stomach. And it's not because it was gross or anything like that. No, it just literally it doesn't sit right with you. It just walk out like, ugh. It's almost like that, that, that nice person that you meet that's a little too nice. Kind of makes you sick. You know? It's kind of sure. Like, She's so nice. It makes me sick. Ugh. Sure. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, God. I feel like I've just been violated. I feel like I need to take a shower and cleanse off or something. Oh, guys, I wish that I could say this was a better movie, but it comes at night. There was cum in the movie. It's That's fantastic. About it. This movie, take his word for it. I don't know if you can. Give it a try. I don't know. I can't recommend seeing this movie. This is the first time I've ever said this. Do not go see this movie. And if you do... Leave your address in the comment section. I will come over and gladly knock you upside your head for coming to see this movie. Imagine somebody lives in fucking California. You're going to buy a plane ticket to California. Hey, are you uh, <laughs> Defo Bottoms? Ramon. Yeah. Are you Ramon Julio Gonzalez Con Panchito Canchito Chihuahua? I think. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Junior. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Junior. I can't, I can't, uh, ugh, I'm literally sick after watching this movie. This video's gone on too long I don't already. know why you're sick, though. Uh, this movie was awesome. Uh, oh, God. You had a good mood. I'd be honest with you, the the one who played the son, I thought he was an awful actor. One, the kid or the 17-year-old? No, the kid was good, the 17-year-old. He was awful. I didn't I like didn't... There's didn't, nothing I like about him I really like. I didn't think he was awful. I just thought he had very little to work with. And what little he had to work with, he made it work. But... In fact, I thought everybody was good in the movie except him. <laughs> I thought he was awful. I, I he thought, was kind of like okay, the star of the movie. Okay, the I thought that little kid that they had was fucking awful. I thought that little kid that they had... Well, he was really little. I would expect him. He was actually Yeah, but, but take a look at the other kid actors that we had. We had Daphne Keene. Uh, who is in fucking uh, Logan? Yeah, but she's better. older. No, she's not. Yeah, she's not. She's, she's like the not, same fucking she's age. Not that little. That kid was a real little kid. That kid almost could have passed for five or six years old. But this was god awful. I oh, and 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 before like and before um 
before we end the video, the payoff, it, it is an emotional payoff. It's not one of those payoffs where it's like, oh, you know, you get to the third act and here you are. It's it's a like a heavy third act. It's like it sunk it almost sunk me. I almost went to the sunk I almost went to the sunken place. <laughs> what, get out now? Yeah, yeah. For me this movie was a lot more like masturbation without the payoff. That's what it was. <laughs> I, I all right guys, we're gonna end the video there. Uh, no more ranting again. Alright guys, Tony T says go see it. I say if you haven't seen Wonder Woman, go see that because this movie sucked to me. But Tony T says it's good. So if Tony T says it's good, uh, you it need is to certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. Bye, guys. <laughs>